All right, I'm 365 days of horsemanship, day 58. Um, yeah. Uh, super tired still, just can't wait to get time to catch up on my rest. Um, I feel like I don't have enough brain power to like work out what's happening with Mia and I. Um, I came up to see her first, put the halter on, which went okay, she was at the hay. And that went kind of fine. Well, she didn't want to go. And obviously there's still this new horse there, but she really was like, I don't want to go, I don't want to go. And I was like kind of veering into dominance where I was putting more and more pressure on until she moved. And I just always feel with her, like the more pressure I put on, the more she, the more she says no, right? And she offered a rest, which was really nice. She offered instead that we would stand there with the herd, with the halter on and sleep which we did and that was nice um and then she had a nice little lick and chew and i thought to myself i was like oh i could leave it there i chose not to because i thought well i i have a little bit more like bandwidth for a little bit more time so i'll stay until the next one and then she kind of came out of it without a lick and chew and started wanting to eat and i was like oh no like that's not like when the halter on like it's not an eating time but she still didn't want to go i ended up taking the release on her um, acknowledging me and putting her like nose around to touch my hand um, and then I released the halter but I don't know I'm just really struggling to work out like thinking about it from a lead mare perspective like how I how to be a good leader to her um, and how to prove I'm a good leader to her when basically making her do anything makes her really resentful and like the more pressure i put on her then the more she says no is always how it feels um i just don't really know where you go with that like it's a weird you know psychology game i'm not really sure where to go with it like i definitely am happy that i'm giving her the choice because i think having like allowing her the freedom to express herself and make choices helps me to understand where her head is right like if i want to get her mind i need to listen and to listen i need to let her speak right and today she said i don't want to leave here let's stay here and it's like in that moment i'm then allowing her to make a decision so am i really being a good lead of her proving to her that i'm a good lead mare i don't know probably not but I am proving that I can be a good friend and a good partner. But is she then dominating me? I don't know. So I really have a think about it. I don't really know where to go with it because it's just going too slowly for me to continue allowing her to have like total freedom like we need to do some training stuff as well um yeah and maybe i just need to think outside the box a little bit like what because the reason i want to do the training is mostly for her fitness and so that i can get on and ride now i could do those things in the field like maybe i just need to Maybe I just need to think outside the box a little bit. Maybe the whole journey down to the arena, if that's not possible, what can we do? What can we work with? What can we say yes to? Maybe I just need to think outside the box a little bit more and be like, okay, like and make a compromise where it's like, okay, you don't want to leave. That's fine. Well, shall we do something here? You know, maybe that's the answer. Maybe I should try that. Um, I think that's a good option. So I'm happy to have like talked it through. Lawrence and I had a nice session. I definitely feel like our sessions are becoming more interactive. Um, and I feel like he's getting something out of them. And it feels like it's a pressure on him that he can manage. Painkillers went well. And then we started with the massaging with the neck again. And it's like, it, I've almost like trained him that when I touch that area of his neck, he starts walking. But I'm kind of okay with that because I also want him to walk. So I'm just happy walking around with him and then until he stops and then I release and then I'll like go somewhere else. I rubbed it, I massaged his hips a little bit and his left hip, he actually really started sinking into that. That was nice. His right hip, he was still a little bit touchy on. His right hip is definitely the hip that he is lame on. Um, yeah, and that neck 
that neck lump is still like just huge. I think it is a little bit better actually. I've been doing it, you know, just a little bit every day. Um, I know, I think with massaging, you should probably do it every other day, but it's literally just for two minutes, you know? So I think it's okay. Um, yeah, but that was a nice session. I wished I had had longer to sleep with him. He then went into a rest, which was really nice to feel like that I had like supported him with this massaging into a, into a place where he wanted to sleep. And I would have loved to have stayed with him and slept, but I just don't have it in me today. Um, I need to get home and rest before I go to work tomorrow again. Um, so yeah, a good day all round, I think in, in some ways, um, definitely with Mia, I'm feeling a little bit like I'm struggling, but I'm confident that I will work out the solution. I think we're at like a pivotal point where normally I would have lost my confidence here and I sort of am wobbling with my confidence, but I'm sort of trying to push through and keep trying different things. I think that's all you can do, you know, is just keep trying things. And one of the things I thought about today was, you know, like, how many hours I've invested in Lawrence across his life, like just how many hours and hours and hours and hours I've spent doing things that now I would look back on and do differently, you know, but I still built a really strong relationship with him through those mistakes even. And I think it's, you know, it's easy to put too much pressure on myself with Mia and like feel paralyzed, like I can't do anything or like I don't know what to do next or like feeling like uh, and all of my options are imperfect. And I think that's the thing with her is I do really feel at the moment like all my options with her are just like not perfect. Like I just don't know which direction to go in where I feel like this is, oh, this is the right path. You know, I don't have that feeling. Um, I'm like, well, maybe this is right, but also uh, because of this and maybe that's right, but also because uh, of that, right? There's also, there's none, there's nothing, there's no options where I'm like really confident. And I think that's when I normally like lose my confidence where I don't feel like it's exactly right. But I think it's just about letting that go a little bit, not being afraid to make mistakes and just try things, you know, because ultimately I, I am really happy with where I'm at with Lawrence now. I do want different things for me and I think that's a different conversation, you know, I need to kind of have with myself about what my actual goals are, like where I really want to be you know, and start working towards them. Like, okay, where am I now? Where do I want to be? How do I get there? Um, I'm going away on holiday to Poland. So I'm going to have about a week where I won't see the horses. I think that's going to be a really good time for me to kind of sit down, regroup. It's going to be a real like reset from such a crazy, crazy time in my life. Um, and a chance to just get a rest and a quick break, um, quick breather before we continue the marathon of stuff. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be a really good time to really sit down and be like, okay, where do I want to be? And how am I going to get there? Um, yeah, and just see where we go, I think. Just really see where we go. So yeah, 